Welcome back to Terror by the Bay. I'm David. All right. Lindsey Graham. Apparently, he was the target of a phishing attack. Uh, for those who don't know what that is, that's phishing with a P-H-I-S-H instead of F-I-S-H for phishing. S somebody sent him a text message trying to represent themselves as Chuck Schumer, asking him to click on a link that would take him to a Telegram page, and then that would insert software onto his phone that would allow people to hack into his phone. Um, apparently it was on his personal phone, not his Senate issued phone. Lindsay didn't click on the link, I don't believe. And the FBI has possession of his phone. So looks like Lindsay may have dodged a bullet there. <laughs> Do you really need to see the pictures of the lady? But never mind. Sorry. Um, so I just want to do a quick read on Lindsay. We should check up on Lindsay, see how he's doing. You know, his phone's getting hacked. Um, Trump probably doesn't talk to him anymore. Who knows what's going on with Lindsay? Uh, but maybe we can find out. Okay. Entertainment purposes only. What's up with the fishing expedition with Lindsay? How is he reacting to that? Apparently the sergeant at arms in the Senate said a number of people in the Senate and the House we're being subjected to attacks like this. Okay, what's up with Lindsay and this uh, um, this phishing? They're going after money. They're going after things of value that they might find on his phone. It could be something as simple as a ransomware. But when you've got a politician, you know there could be all sorts of valuable information from a blackmail point of view, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, you don't want that information out. You don't want these pictures out type of thing. So these folks are going for money. Again, things of value as well, but I suspect it was more of a money thing. Um, and it's kind of a group of hackers. They're in the background in the on the dark webs of things um, uh, going after it. And again, they're going after many uh, they're going after many uh, members in the house. Underneath it all is the four of wands. Interesting. Um Without getting too conspiracy theory of, you know, Russia, Russia, Russia wanting you back in the fold, it could be that they could end up capturing these guys and they will be incarcerated. They may be able to figure out who's doing this fishing. Again, when you're starting to hit high level um, members of the government, the FBI is involved. It, it becomes a higher priority case. If it were me or you, nothing would happen. But if it's happening to like Lindsey Graham and given his position, yeah, the, the FBI and the government's going to take notice of that <clears throat> in the past um keeping information and values things of value restricted holding on to things tightly um i think Lindsay's actually well he's on like the intelligence committee so yeah he understands about security you're gonna have to try a little bit harder if you're gonna fool Lindsey graham let's just put it that way you know he may come across as uh, a heavy drinker at times and his emotions get twisted into pretzels when it involves Donald Trump, but he's not an idiot when it comes to security. You're going to have to try a little bit harder than that. Current situation is the Three of Cups. They didn't get in. FBI has their phone. I think their FBI is actually going to be able to do stuff with Lindsay's phone. Uh, that will be useful in this case. The overarching energy is the uh, Six of Cups. <clears throat> Nostalgia, the good old days, naivety. Um, and I think it's probably a European... I always think of Europe when I see these uh, these houses and these pictures. I think the hackers are probably from Europe, could be from Russia, that type of thing. I don't think they're homegrown. And they probably thought... You no, know, Linz is an old guy. He's naive. He'll fall for this one. You know, it's like the Trojan horse hidden inside that uh, that uh, vessel there. But little Miss Lindsay here, she's far too clever for this, for the ruse. Lesson to be learned is the chariot. Um, these guys will keep. These guys will keep going, but I think the investigation will keep going against them as well. Outcome is temperance. Um, the hackers may strike pay dirt. You know, if they just keep going, keep going, somebody's going to screw up. Somebody's going to miss the cup and it's going to spill. 
and then they'll, they'll you know, they'll, somebody's going to spill the tea, as it were. But, um, oh, yeah, so I was thinking it might be jailed. This could also be this person getting locked out of their phone. Oh, you want your phone back? Well, that's going to that's gonna cost you some money type of thing here. I think they will have some successes or have had some successes on there. But Lindsay is not one of them. So uh, I guess we're not going to be seeing any incriminating pictures of Lindsay uh, partying with uh, Republican House members in Madison Cawthorn, if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, look up Madison Cawthorn and orgies and, and sit down and prepare to be shocked. Those dirty old men in their orgies, their drug-fueled orgies. Who would have thought the Republicans would do such things? Okay. So the hacking looks like it's kind of a nothing burger as far as Lindsay goes, but that doesn't mean other folks won't be caught out. Um, now, given uh, all of Trump's trials and tribulations, how is Lindsay feeling about uh, the Donald and how things are going with Donald? How's, how's Lindsay's relationship with Donald Trump these days? Huh? I'm just kind of, kind of want to stay on top, so let's just let it go with it. Oh, Daddy, can I have my allowance, please? The, he's offering little bits of support here and there. Maybe he's thinking that the value is not there with Trump. Let's see how the, we have everything crosses out in the burden and the illusions and delusions. Um, how's Lindsay viewing Trump? Um, I think Lindsay is looking at Trump as diminished. Uh, Trump, again, is stealing all the money from the RNC. <clears throat> so Lindsay has to do his own fundraising, which is incredibly difficult to do because Trump trashes Lindsay whenever possible. And it doesn't matter what Lindsay offers Trump. Trump just makes Lindsay's life difficult. He's kind of, Trump is kind of sadistic that way. You know, treats him like, he treats him like he's the dumber, gayer brother of Eric, you know? <laughs> Um, underneath it all is the lack of integrity card, the illusions and delusions, that sort of thing. Um, Lindsay maybe has kind of a love-hate relationship with Trump. Uh, Lindsay has always gravitated towards strongmen, leaders, and um, Trump just, just absolutely tortures Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham should find new friends, new golfing buddies. In the past is the fool card. Lindsey thought he could work with Trump and, and you know, guide, mentor, bring Trump along. That was a foolish thing to do. <laughs> that blew up in your face. You just got pulled into Trump's web. That's all that happened there. Uh, current situation um, is the Eight of Cups, the leaving of the relationship. I think they've had a falling out in their relationship. That doesn't mean Lindsay won't help Donald Trump where he can, but he's not going to go out of his way to do it. He's Lindsay's kind of done. It's literally the only thing that keeps Lindsay around is the compromise. Whatever compromise Donald has on Lindsay is the only thing that keeps Lindsay around. The overarching energy is the Five of Cups. Uh, Donald could have been quite the dictator in Lindsay's eyes, but he, Trump doesn't know what he's doing. And I think Lindsay feels like Donald's time has come and gone. And not only that, it's Trump's destruction of the Republican Party, as predicted by Lindsey Graham, when he said, if we elect him uh, as our party leader, we will get he will destroy this party and we will have earned it. We will have deserved it. He's right. He knows he's right. Anything they got through from 2016 to 2020 is going to be undone. The only thing that they've got left are the Supreme Court justices and the federal justices. That's the only thing they have to show for all their efforts. Lesson to be learned. He signed a pact with the devil too. He gave offerings up to the devil. He chained himself up to the devil. And nothing good is going to come from that. All the emotional stuff. Outcome is the Four of Swords. Um... Lindsay's in his last term as a senator. Uh, between Trump trashing him and, you know, probably stories that come out 
Lindsay is, I think he's in his last term before he goes quiet and leaves the Senate, probably in disgrace. So <laughs> there's a heavier reading than I was expecting. This could just be Lindsay going silent on Trump, but I think it's more than that. I think Lindsay's going to be paying a price for his relationship with the devil. And it's it's true for a lot of people that have, uh, again, uh, tied themselves to Donald Trump. They are going to be, uh, they're going to be savaged in history books and they're going to pay political prices for that. Okay. Um... Anything else with Lindsay? Oh, yeah, Georgia. Will there be any other... Now, he, he managed... It seems like he managed to skate and get out of the Georgia Rico trial. Uh, the reporting is that he just basically spilled the beans. He threw Trump under the bus on that one. Um, are there any uh, legal cases? Or what can you say about legal cases involving Lindsay? Is there anything that he should be worried about that he might be held accountable or legal cases. <sighs> Three of coins. Working behind the scenes. Discussing things. Um, he might be avoiding his own prosecution by continuing to work with prosecutors. This could also be a conspiracy. Let's see. The Hermit shining lights on conspiracies. And the Nine of Cups. I think... Um, me thinks that Lindsay is more talking with people and shining a light on what's going on in the background of things. He is doing what he can to stay out of prison. Lindsay's not going to prison. He's going to work with prosecutors, judges, and such to keep his uh, keep himself out of prison. And maybe be able to hold on to some money that he's made over the years. Queen of Wands. <laughs> Sorry, it's back to the ladybugs with my sunflowers here. Um, let's stand up. This is looking forward, being forward looking with decisions that need to be made and the actions that need to be taken. Now, again, the stuff that he did behind the scenes for helping Trump in Georgia got exposed. And Lindsay, to get himself out of problems with the judge there, and um, Judge McAfee and uh, District Attorney uh, Fonnie Willis, uh, you know, he had to cooperate. Cooperate with the grand jury. Current situation, he's holding on to some information. He hasn't told them everything he knows. And I think that's because um, he's got to have some bargaining chip if things go sideways. And he might hold on to information that might be embarrassing to him. So, you know, he's not doing it just purely out of uh, duty and uh, patriotism and stuff like that. Lindsay still has his things that he wants. And it could be maybe if he shares this, some things about Lindsay and his values are kept secret. Overarching energy is the tower, though. I think Lindsay is going to be pivotal in bringing some people down, knock, providing information that knocks some schemes down. Lesson to be learned is the Empress, um, you know, taking care of number one in this case, I'll give it a little bit of a lower energy. Lindsay, um, you know, he's not the benevolent person. He, he had a chance to be quite the benevolent person. Um, to me, this is Lindsay taking care of Lindsay. Uh, you know, he's been twisted into pretzels and humiliated, but in the end of the day, he can take care of himself and save himself and sacrifice some others in the process. Outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. He saves himself. He cuts deals. He's going to, he, if, you know, minor things will happen to him, you know, fines or something along those lines. But I think he's going to escape the worst of any type of shenanigans that he was involved in. About the worst thing that's going to happen to Lindsay is he's going to lose a little bit of money and a little bit of face. And then he can leave and he'll just be something of a historical disgrace. But he won't be going to prison. And I think that's his short-term goal. 
and we will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your kind words, likes, shares, everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so this video makes it out to a wider audience. To folks discovering this channel recently for the first time, welcome to the channel. I hope you found this reading insightful, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.